Welcome, welcome, welcome to Clary Berry Sanctuary. I'm so glad you are here. I hope that your experience here will be filled with healing and just being loved and comforted and supported because I'm here for you, but also the universe is here for you. It is here for us. Okay, let me close this window. It's actually still pretty hot here in Missouri. Spiritual understanding. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols, helping you to understand spiritual truths. Definitely been feeling this all year. Been my main theme. Okay, and I know a lot of other people's as well. Just wanted to get that out there for some overall, ener overall energy to welcome you to the video. This video is going to be for Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Venus, Cusps, Cross Watchers. All are welcome. I know you will get something out of this video. A lot of um, what I end up getting into is really things that everybody needs to do and everybody needs to work on to improve, get better at manifesting and just living their lives in a positive way and helping to create a heaven on earth, which is our legacy. And that's, that's what I'm here for. Don't let pride get in your way. We all have it. This isn't even calling anybody out. We all have that pride. We all have that ego. It's a part of being here in the in these bodies. Okay. We're just going to jump right in. We're going to spend some time taking them. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time. We've been working, working, working. We just feel like we've been attacked in ways. Just so many things. People, people talking, something's going on. Like what is all why you know you're kind of in that you're, you get, you might be have been you might be or might have been you know getting in this energy like oh you know this again <laughs> you know stay flexible stay flexible in your mind like what not only you know just like oh flexible this and this but just like what you're willing to consider again this esoteric information go deeper you know deeper into this spiritual you're starting to see things differently Things might have switched suddenly, recently. And then now I think you're getting even more inspired to do this work and to focus on things. But you are, you know, you do have other, it's like you need to work on it more. You're getting distracted, I think, by the work. You, you need to do the right work. You spend the right time, you know, the right, um, the right amount of energy, whether it's thoughts, emotions, um, actions, spend that energy on the right things. I feel like there might be a little bit of confusion with this abrupt change of thought, change of thinking, change of life, change, whatever big change that you've gone through. You know, I feel like you're dealing with it well, but it's not, hasn't been leaving a ton of time maybe for doing this work. Okay. But now we need to kind of go, we need to, we need to, we need to get there. We need to maybe deal with some things still. But acting, acting, I feel like it's doing the work, you know? Where where are you going? You're going somewhere fast, but where? Your passions right now, Aries, you know, as a fire sign, you have a lot of fiery energy. A lot of like I said, a lot of things that just need to be taken care of, a lot of things that need to be done, a lot of things that are sucking up your energy. I feel like this is, it's, we're kind of on superficial ground here. There's not been a lot of work or there's, it's like if you keep going this way, you know, all you're going to have is more issues, more things, more busy, uh, you know, distractions is what I'm getting here. Okay, so we're going to delve deeper. We are going to go deep, deep, deep areas. Okay, get these weekend readings done. So, like I said, you know, in this in this past energy of the past few days, the past few weeks, a uh, couple weeks is usually what I like to say. You know, I feel like we've been having some new, you know, new thoughts, new ideas, like I said, new ways of seeing things. And we're kind of enjoying it. It's kind of like, let's just take a look at this, shall we? Oh, man. Yeah. It's like whatever happened in the past... Uh, prior summer like really shook us up really was a huge shower moment um, we just needed to 
start over and start fresh, completely clean slate and really jump into it. And a lot of that had to do with kind of uh, getting everything connected, mind, body, and emotions, mind, body, and spirit. Um, and it's all about, yeah, this healing is deep for us. We need to just get there. You know, we need to just make a change right now. Like, don't wait. Or we couldn't wait. Or the way that we have been carrying something, again, has kind of maybe changed as well. Okay? Like, where are we going? Where are we headed? What are you, how are you carrying this energy of your past? What has happened to you? Everything. What that, what happened to you in the past really affects the things you do. A lot of times when we get in trouble in this life, Oh, the trees are so beautiful today. They're just waving kind of back and forth. Very, a lot of movements. It's not even that windy, but they're just really getting gusted up. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, easily distracted today. These things that we're called to do sometimes that are not good things, like social conditioning things, like drinking, alcohol, drugs, um, you know, getting addicted to sex, getting um, addicted to, you know, porn and getting um, addicted to, pills and like all this other stuff, food, you know, overeating, binge eating, you know, being lazy, not exercising, not wanting to look at things. This is all because we're not willing to do the work. It's all, it's like, you just don't do those things when you're not having, you don't, it's like, you can enjoy yourself, you know, but whenever it becomes a problem, whenever it's a really bad thing, you know, that's when you're like, okay, wait, this is like, there's something wrong, you know, and you have to figure out what it is. You just have to. Or else you're going to continue to go from thing to thing to thing, you know, bad toxin, 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 um, you know, uh, third party, third party, third party. We, that's third parties can be anything. It could be your work, overworking, could be working out too much, being orthorexic. Like there's so many ways that it can manifest and we can get off balance. And this is what it's about. It's about how we're looking at life, how we're thinking about life. If we're thinking the same thoughts that we had yesterday. We're thinking the thoughts that were made from before, from whatever's happening before we had that tower moment. Well, we're not the same. Let it go. You have a new, you have a chance here to take some time apart, take some time away, I feel like. Um, kind of go into yourself, draw those boundaries if you need, but also stay open. Do something in a brand new way. And I feel like that has to do with you being, if you have to tell your person to hold on, if you have to lay down a boundary, which you do, you know, don't do it in a mean way. If you have doubts, um, if you're scared, don't say it in a mean way. You know, don't attack, attack, attack. We have to, you know, we're beyond that. We have, once you heal, once you kind of get everything in connection, the way that you act is just so much better. So that's why you have to do the work. You know, you have to jump into the shadow work, jump into, um, you know, and it may, it may, it may hurt. Like I said, you may need to take some time off, <laughs> like lay in the sick bed for a while and just receive it. Like, even if you're not sick, like, call, you know, have a sick day when you're not really sick, but you're still, it's like a mental health day. You know, just to get yourself reframed. You know, I'm feeling like we need some positive law of attraction. Check out my law of attraction playlist. I have one here on Clarieberry Sanctuary. I also have one at just Clarieberry. So um, a lot of the same videos, I think. But you can check them out either way. So we just need to, you know, keep going with this and pay attention to the signs. Make sure that you're able to stay connected with the earth and stay grounded and really just keep on, I mean, it's like keep on doing what you're doing, you keep on taking care of business, but look further into the future, okay? This isn't about like, oh, just taking care of every day. Like you, this healing is bringing you to a point where like, what are you doing with your life for real? Like, what is your true deep, like spend some time contemplating this right now. Like what is your true deep mission that you really are impassioned by? Okay, don't do things because you somebody else thinks you, that would be cool of you or to keep up with the Joneses or impress so and so or, you know, do this. Do things because you love them. Life is too short to really spend any energy on things that you are not 100% about. And when you get to that point and then you actually do the work and follow through, you're just creating a new life for yourself. You're creating a new beginning. You are becoming that star, that manifester where your life balances out. Your emotions are in the right place. Your thoughts are in the right place. That creates 
uh, excuse me, beliefs and um, expectations that are in place. Then you have actions that are in place that are on purpose. And then you go on and your habits you become and then you get these results. And then again, it goes all over again. Process starts again and you the thoughts you think about your past become better and better and better. And then you gain this confidence and you gain this um, conscience awakening where you know you're like being the best person that you can be and it feels so good and it just makes you want to keep going like you know and it becomes like a habit you don't even have to think about it and it's just like this is the long term that you need to get to you need to be thinking about the deeper level long term too not just the materialistic because you are a star child you are a star seed you're an indigo child you're a light worker you are whatever you want to call yourself you know but you're here for a reason and your reason is deeper so we can't pretend to go through the motions and act like normal people with our lives and do the things that they do you know that's why a lot of us twin flames you know they don't necessarily married and have all of the mortgage and the second you know like all of it's just different you know we're uh we march to the beat of our own drum and that's okay we don't need to constantly be exposed to mass media we know this you know we've been doing that forever you know we're we have it's a see-through like we can see through a little bit deeper you know than some people you know some people say it's a Pluto thing some people say it's like sometimes tends to pop out more in certain like generations because of the way the outer planets you know the non the impersonal planets um, just because of the way they are and they're in their like places for so long kind of the same areas in your chart or whatnot for like a long time our whole generation is gonna have the same sort of outlook on things and um, beliefs and different things like that so we we can kind of see through and we use that we have to use that though we have to remember it. it's like our higher self knows deeper deeper truths but we don't always embody those in our everyday life and that's just the process of like picking out each one we're going through we're weeding out the garden of our own you know emotional um thought energy you know all of our energies need to be aligned and your chakras, people are like, oh, this chakra and that chakra and this chakra. If you basically just, it's more simple to think of it as you're just going to keep an alignment, your mental, your emotional, and then your spiritual, and then like all the other things too. Yeah, all the different sides. Just make sure that you're showing up for yourself, okay? This is spiritual understanding. This is, um, see this picture, it's you're connecting all the dots, and you know that once you start to manifest, it's going to, what I always say, it's going to affect you in all the different ways. And it's going to make you more confident being overall. It's going to like light up. You're going to light up like a battery. You know, it's like the, the flip, the, I always say this, you guys, this is what it's called, the switch program. Um, because that's what we're doing. It flips a switch. It's automatically, everything comes into place and it is aligned. You don't need to align each chakra. You just need to align each area of your life mental emotional physical and then your actions well your actions is also within the physical um and spiritual and then your habits will be formed from that and that is the law of creation that is and then you will believe more of what you're doing and when you do that you just you just go you just go new places you just start new things Stop with the distractions. Stop with the stupid shit that honestly doesn't need to be done right now. Okay? This is important. Okay? There's a lot going on and we're getting sucked up into it. We're beyond that. As soon as we get to this newer place, it's going to be like, ah. like we're going to be like, why do we even bother? If it's not going to bother you or if it's not, you know, important in five minutes, five hours, five days, five weeks, five years then it's not important. Move on to the deeper shit. Move on to the things that are going to change your life. Okay? You're not going to get to celebrate. You're not going to get to be, you know, having the life you want unless you actually do this work. You need to go back into your childhood and you need to do the switch work. Flip the switch. Watch the program. It's free right now on my playlist. Check it out. You go in. You clean it out. You put, you reframe it. You put some a better spin on it, a better, a deeper understanding that you're able to get now that you're older, now that you're smarter, now that you're wiser, now that you're in tune and conscious and, like I said, aligned and tuned with your emotions. And you're just going and getting your little ducks in a row. 
all these negative assumptions, these negative beliefs, these negative um, thoughts that came to be beliefs and expectations about our own selves that we even just created for ourselves. It's not always, oh, what so-and-so did to me, but yeah, you have to deal with that too. And your life will flourish. When you start doing this work, you will, it'll be like, bing, something is aligned. And then you'll be like, bing, and then bing, 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 and you'll do it all the time. And then your life will be a whole song of bing, 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 bing. Maybe that would be annoying to somebody, but yeah, you, uh, you know what I'm saying, okay? And once you get this, it is swift, okay? You will have swift change. You will have that change that you wanted, that you've been waiting for, okay? That you're kind of getting frustrated that you're not having right now. This will come. You will get your partner. You will have your twin flame situation. Your what you thought was a soulmate. What you guys have been oh acting like soulmates. Now you know you're not. You're not just the. So you're not just the soulmates. Excuse me. You are beyond that. You are a twin flame. You are here for deeper reasons. You are here for different reasons. You don't need to have the things that they have. You don't even care about that anymore. You know that, and that is empowering to go deeper. It's empowering to get beyond that physical plane. Hello. Hey. Love you. Welcome home. You. Do the shadow work. You're not doing it enough. I can tell by the cards. Okay. If, if you are doing the amount of work that you need to be doing, you would be a lot closer, you know, and a lot more in movement and a lot, you know, getting where you want to go and you wouldn't be having all these negative thoughts creep up. You wouldn't have to be like feeling like you need to protect yourself and, you know, worry and all of this stuff and feel bad, you know, like what some, we might just not be feeling that well right now. And a lot of that I think is, you know, astrological, um, you know, you might be feeling good, but you're just kind of like low energy and, you know, it's okay to be comforted right now. You know, this time right now in this earthly energy, you know, and we've been going through the, the different energies all summer with cancer to everything else, you know, cancer, Leo, Virgo. You know, and we're coming into Libra and it's like we're getting out, we're getting unstuck. We're like coming out of this bubble almost that we've kind of been, kind of been um, stuck in. And the shadow work is going to really help us. It's going to make a lot of movement real fast and we're going to come into our own. Okay. This is the, I'm getting right now, it was, it was reversed, but that's only because it's in the future. You're coming into this more and more and more coming into your higher power coming into your divinity, coming into your deeper knowledge, knowing the truth, not having to worry. You know, you're not getting up and rushing around, running around like a chicken with your head cut off, busy, busy, what's going on, gotta do this, gotta do this. You're, you're kind of taking a step back with life and realizing the important things because you know it resonates, the deeper things resonate with you, okay? And having that knowledge, moving forward, Still taking, you don't have to take, you know, it's not all going to happen at once. It's a journey. It's not a destination. So you're taking steps every day. Sometimes you're running a race and you're getting super fast. You're making a lot of ground in high Rocky. <laughs> you're making a lot of, um, a lot of, hi doggies. You're making, you're covering a lot of ground at a lot of times. And then other days it won't be so much and that's fine. If, as long as you keep your mind right, you'll keep on manifesting this positive stuff you know what I mean if that's that's what it's all about you're really coming into your own on this law of attraction and knowing how to bring again it's not the regular law of attraction it's the holistic law of attraction so you're taking not only your thoughts and then your emotions and your true emotions and your deeper emotions and all this a spectrum level you know within our body again that we like to align and then your actions and then your habits and then your karma and your spiritual um yeah, like just how you resonate every single day. Your spiritual understanding. Thank you. Okay. Pride is going to be a thing of the past. Ego. We're living out of our ego. Yeah, we're all going to have it. It's still going to bubble up, but it's not going to cause us problems because we are, we own it. You know, we own the power. We did the work. One, you know, that's why you do the work now so that you can get to that point when it really matters because things are going to be going on where you need to be in that position. You need to be in that protection. And I feel like some of the negative uh, feelings that we're feeling now are kind of being caused by this lack of being in tune with everything that we need to, ha you know, it's a lack of this, this deeper spiritual understanding. So listen to the videos, you know, learn the program and then do it. You don't just learn it and then say, oh, I'm good. I know everything now. Like I don't need to actually follow through. It's all about the follow through. You got to go follow through just the thoughts and oh, this is a good idea. And I understand this to I'm going to walk the walk and my emotions are actually 
into this enough, like I'm fully supporting it and believing it. And every time I think about this thought, I wrap it up in a positive emotion and it's just awesome. And it takes me even further, you know, and then you're able to keep on going and keep on going into the actions ding 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 this is the program this is like still your your first actions are just going to be planning planning is still an action writing a list making arrangements making sure you have everything gathered that you're going to need for your journey those are the first actions wrapping your mind around your plans setting out a map perhaps you know what I mean? This is this is the first, I'm getting chills, this is powerful. You don't just jump into action. It doesn't just happen and you're like, oh, all of a sudden one day I was a CEO of a company that I wanted to be, you know, like no. Like you have to start doing little actions first before you even make that big action as to whatever it is that you want. You know what I mean? And then you just follow through and then you get what you want and then you're so happy and it brings about more positive energy and you're like, yeah, and you're confident and it just brings about more positive energy and then you just have this, this, grasp on everything you know and then it goes even deeper and higher from there you just at any little thing that is holding you back any little thing you will just kill it squash it immediately okay death card yes perfect this is an amazing reading Aries I really am enjoying this for you I feel like this is great you know I mean fire energy here obviously it's Leo but it's fire you know what I mean you're being yourself. You're going deeper into yourself. You are honoring yourself so much by doing this. And not only are you going to benefit from doing this work, but your people and your partner are going to also be affected by this. Whatever you do as a twin flame is affecting that person and that partner in your life. And they are being affected, even if you can't tell it, and they will be affected for many, many moons to come. Okay, because you guys are in this for the long haul. That's why you need to look out at further distant plans. You know what I mean? Don't let that negative thinking get a hold of you. Don't get too busy to where you're just go, 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 taking care of everybody else, taking care of everything, not even having time to really focus on yourself and to really do the things that are um, really, truly calling you, you know, and really, truly blissful for you. You need to know, you need to take that time out to really balance yourself out and balance out the energy around you so that you can really go deeper and say, this is what I really, really want. What I really, really want. Oh, I didn't say that. Ah! So yeah, never, who'd have thunk it? Be singing Spice Girls in my tarot readings all the time. <laughs> but you are, you can, you will. This is your journey. You're, you're moving and shaking. You know, you are causing things to happen and it's affecting the world. You are helping transmute a lot of negative energy in this world, okay? And it's not about ego anymore. Don't let pride get in your way. You're getting beyond that. You are fiery energy, but you know that the one thing that you need to do is conquer your own self before you can really conquer the world, if you know what I'm saying and however that resonates for you. Okay, don't worry about the fears. Don't worry about protecting yourself. Don't worry about compiling money just for the sake of being popular and having egotistical goals. Go beyond that. Go deeper. Make sure your goals are pure intentions behind them. Okay, you this is part of the judgment and the balance and understanding is knowing what you truly want and truly need. Don't ask what you want, ask what you need. And go deep and allow yourself time and space to figure that out and then do the law of attraction. You know, you got to learn about it. You got to think about it. You got to understand it. You got to figure it out. This is all mental. This is all sorts. This is all air. This is what you do. And then you go, you know, and then you start to believe it. You start to have attachment to this idea because you spent time thinking about it, planning it out, understanding it. It's, it's something that you understand on such a deeper level at this point now that you can't help but fully believe in it's, and again, it's deeper. It's a deeper level of understanding. So it feels good as soon as you start to do these things that you're called to do and give yourself this time and do this work and break these chains. It feels good. Everything, again, turns on like a battery and you're light and you're shining. You're shining your true shine. You will shine much brighter when you're doing your work. That's what I'm saying. You want to shine? You're a fire. You know, I know you want to shine. We all want to shine. This isn't even just a fire thing, you know? But we got to have our ducks in a row, and that doesn't just mean our materialistic ideals. This means that it's you, you know, focusing on every day 
your daily actions are focused on what they need to be focused on. So you're focused on the mental, you're focused on your emotional. I've got videos on how to do that in my program. Check out the emotions video. This is what is up for real. Don't look back, look to the future. You are a whole new person. Your body regenerates itself, so your mind and your emotions should as well. And that is what we're doing. We're taking out the trash. We're taking, we're cleaning out old thoughts that don't need to be there anymore. And this is the path to getting everything you want and to enlightenment. Okay? I love you. I thank you so much for being here. Much love. Many blessings. Take care. I will see you guys so, so soon. Be sure to watch different videos. I've got a lot of messages. A lot of it's the same. A lot of it needs to be heard over and over to get into the subconscious so that we can move forward. We are helping this evolution come to pass. This love evolution, you know, evolution, love backwards, evolve. You know, we're getting there. We're going deeper. We're going higher. We're going within ourselves. We are bringing about heaven on earth. This earth is changing. There's going to be less suffering coming. There's going to be, honestly, there's going to be less animals being killed. We're going to start to, ha and it's starting now, you guys. We're going to start to see a big, like, spiritual awakening. And a lot of ideas are sinking into mainstream culture. And people are understanding more about chakras. People are understanding more about karma. People are understanding more. People are letting their rigid spiritual beliefs kind of crumble a little bit and move forward and we are the leaders as to our getting that energy and that consciousness that mass consciousness we are all one so our consciousness is one and it has energies and the energies that are out there intermingling with each other create the karma of what happens in our world so this is all the same thing again you can look at it on a microcosm for yourself but it's also the same thing for the you know the world around us our city our culture our this and that our whole entire everybody you know so yeah Great reading. Again, I'm glad you're here. Stay tuned and watch the videos for your, you know, your moon sign, your, um, and you can get, go online to a calculator and just type in your date of birth. And if you don't even have that, just type in your, your date of birth and then your birth time and then birth location and just put in as much information as you have and you'll get a really close reading regardless. You know, like there may be some differences, um, but overall you can kind of understand, again, understand yourself on a deeper level and hear different things that are for you in different ways and like your Venus would be your more of like your love and like what you love to do and like your moon is more your inner and the sun is more your outer and your ascendant is really how you appear to other people and you can really learn a lot by delving into different videos as well and kind of using them in a different way of understanding spiritual understanding so I will talk to you guys later thank you bye